Hi, welcome to the Certification Authority signing scenario. To do this, we opened two consoles being logged on as the SID ADM. Um, as we will need a browser window to make the certification request in the SAP internal scenario, I also opened a browser. As in the other script, we just have to define some parameters at the beginning, which I already did in this case. Now I'm just going to run the script, go to the certification authority. And as I said, I'm going to use the internal one from us. And so I just opened that in the right window. And because I will need to have the certified request being um, on the system, I open a new file in the bottom console. I take the output of the certification request, put it into the input form of the authority, and put the, the response into that file. So this has been done for the first file right now, which is the sub SSL personal store, trust store. And now we need to do that for another trust store. This is because the access engine uses a trust store and the web dispatcher uses another trust store. That may be obsolete in further releases, but right now this is the case which you have to deal with. We're going to provide those two into the form, we get the response, we just post, post that into the file, and we, you see the certification or sorry, response was successfully imported. Okay, now we're going to create another file, the sub CLI personal trust store. This is used for internal certification. Don't care about this. You do not have to provide that into the form. And okay, we again go to the HTTPS URL of our XS engine. And you should see this one coming up. Um, takes a little time right here. This may be due to the processes restarting. Okay, now it's up and running. We go to the XS administration tool after logging on. And you have to check in the trust manager tab if there is something which shows you an error in the bottom usually. But there is no error in this case, so this is perfectly fine.